This belt is amazing. This belt was handed to me to my father on the on the first uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Federation in Rio de Janeiro. I was uh, 23 years old. This belt was stolen from my car. I had a bunch of American students that came by. They asked me to come in. They were screaming from the window of the building, "Hey, so come in, come in for just one second. I said, "No, guys, you gotta. We late for the training, please." Come so we can leave. No, 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 just one minute. So I, I go inside for like 30 seconds. They break my window, they steal my bag. And inside that bag was this belt. And I remember immediately the first thought I had was like, that's it. I'm not training today, I'm finding my belt. So he jumped in the car. We take off to the ghetto. We go straight to the favelas. You know, if you want to understand what that is, go watch the City of God. You're going to have an understanding what it is. And I walk right in, I say, I want my bag back. I want my jiu-jitsu bag back. There's a belt in there and I need that bag. And I argue with them back and forth. I say, what are you telling me? No, nobody brought the bag here. I say, look, they stole my bag on the bottom of this, this favela. So if you guys are telling me that it's okay, to steal it, to steal cars and to break windows and to, to rob people down here, I'm gonna start doing that. That team back and forth, they call in, they used to communicate in the radio, they call in the radio, they say, someone did someone bring a bag back and that thing is going back and forth. And I remember as the thing is getting hot and I'm going, I'm very vocal and I'm getting loud and waving with my hands. One thing for sure, here it is the bell. You know, after a while, I was sitting down there with them. They were able to find the belt in a different gear, in a different favela. They brought back, they said, hands, we are big fans, here your belt back. And the funny thing, I was there, while I was waiting for my belt, when they found my belt in my bag, I'm sitting with them and they were showing me their guns and I'm holding their guns and looking, you know, and talking about the quality of their weaponry. And, and the next day I go to the academy and when I finished telling the story, one of the main uh, sheriffs, you know, one of the main guys from the police department he comes to me and says, thank God you explained to me what happened. Because look at these pictures, when he pulled it out, he had all the pictures of me with the drug dealers, checking the guns, seeing and talking about. But I'll probably buy another black belt to keep wearing. I, I can't see myself old as a red <laughs> and black belt. You know?